In this video, I'm going to show you production using multiple tabs in Reaper. So this is part two of production using multiple tabs in Reaper. In the previous video, we produced the verse and pre-chorus sections in their own tabs. Now we'll work on the chorus, and we'll do the same thing, build a production around this very specific part, which happens to feel very different from the others. Once again, we'll start with the kick, put it into record, let's put it up here, and let's record the kick part for the chorus. That's just the weight of the world It's not personal, it's just how it works Don't be angry for too long or get burned Cause that's just the weight of the world Notice how much more upbeat this sounds as the rhythm of the chorus is going to be very different. Let's add a snare, which is also a sound we haven't used yet, right here. Double click it. It adds a snare right here. Put it into record. Let's put down the snare part. That's just the weight of the world. It's not personal, it's just how it works. Don't be angry for too long or get burned. Cause that's just the weight of the world. Next, we'll add some hi hats, which again, is a sound we haven't used. And for this, we're going to use two hi hats a closed one and an open one. So for this, we'll double click the closed one, which shows up here. Then we'll copy and paste this. So you have two hi hats on this track. Reopen Media Explorer, choose the open hat, right click it, go to Insert into Sample Player and reuse active sample player, which puts it right here. And the close one right here. So to trigger it with different keys, I'll give this a number. Let's do 42, which is F sharp, just the velocity. So it's velocity sensitive. Do the same with the open hat, but give it a different key, 246, which is A sharp or B flat. And for this, let's turn on Obey Note Offs. So if we play the note and let go, it stops short, which will choke the open hat. So now we can put down both hi-hat parts together. Go into Record, and let's record it. Sounding good, and let's add to it with some of the other percussion we had in the other parts. Let's add the tambourine, on every other snare, like this. And then finally, I want to add a crash or a splash to accent the downbeat of the chorus. But instead of using the sampler, let's just choose it, right click it, and choose Insert on New Track, which puts it right here. Let's move it over to here and also over here. Let's hear that. Now I'm pretty happy with the chorus. Now we want to put all these parts together. And we can do that just using copy and paste. Let's go back to the first tab. This is where we're going to put all the parts. We'll go to the verse. And we don't need the guitar and vocal. We can just copy these tracks. Copy them. Paste them into this tab. 
And now we have the verse part in the main project or project tab. I complicate things. One of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause. Let's do the same with the pre chorus. And just choose these tracks, copy and paste them in here. But notice we have multiple tracks with the same part, like our kick. So I'm going to choose to lock our movement to prevent left right movement. So we can't put our items out of time when we move them. So now I can grab the kick, let's move it up to here, delete this track, take the finger snaps. Put them up here, delete this track. Let's put the brushes up here. Take the claps and move it here. Delete this track. Let's make this all smaller. Now the tracks are combined. Let's do the same with the chorus. Select all the tracks, except for the guitar and vocal. Copy them and paste them into the main project. Bring the kick up to here. Delete the kick. Let's move the snare up here. And the hi hat. Let's put the tambourine next to the tambourine. Move it up here. Delete it. And the splash all by itself. And now we can see all our parts. And the multiple parts are all on the tracks. So it's condensed for one track per part, even though they play in different sections. So now, we should have a full production with different parts playing from one to the other with completely different feels or rhythms. So let's hear that. I complicate things. One of my many skills. I'm making things up. All in my mind, cause I analyze their body language. I hear every change in their tone Maybe they hate me Somehow I'll play me My mama said That's just the weight of the world It's not personal, it's just how it works Don't be angry for too long, we'll get burned Cause that's just the weight of the world Sounds pretty good. Like I said, each part has a different rhythm or a different feel altogether. But by producing them in different tabs and copying and pasting them into one tab or one project at the end, it can make it a lot easier to do the production, as we can really focus on one section at a time. And we can still save all these tabs later to add and remove things to them, or just work on the final project once you get to this step. Either way, I think it's a creative way of working on each section at a time, especially with a song like this, where the parts are so different. So that's pretty much it. That's production using multiple tabs in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.